Nice to see the progress. Yeah, the progress. It's like a montage, a training montage. Three, two, one. Fight, robots, fight. Sea Dragon's Roar. What an interesting name for a bot. Yeah. What would that oh. even? What would that even sound like? Oh, Luke did a great impression for us earlier. Yeah. <laughs> That's the exact impression that I did, Chris. Wow. And we are seeing fully defined just aggression here. I love that wide design. So smart. Sea Dragon's Roar is just stuck there in the corner. Good pin there from Fully Defined, but are the weapons on either of these robots working? There we go. Fully Defined, look at that. Yeah, they just had to kind of go off into the corner and collect themselves a little bit before they could get their weapon fired up again. Sometimes that's what you gotta do. You know? See, so they're gonna go for another pin, but uh, it looks like that, that weapon drive is back down again. 60 seconds down in this match. Ian, the driver of Fully Defined, has decided to turn off his weapon, it seems like. Yeah. In hopes of racking up control points. Well, I mean, his bot's well designed. Oh, boy. And there we go. Oh, oh boy. Yep. That'll that, do it. Oh, just, that's uh, a wheel. Wow, just wanted to eat a wheel. Moment. Yeah, just wanted to eat that. Let's see if we can fire it up again. Impressive, yeah. You can hear these two drivers talking to one another. He just asked side. if that was the dead wheel or the live wheel, right? <laughs> so, always a good question. Did I take out that side of your driver? No. 80 seconds left here in this fight. Oh, and it looks like Sea Dragon's work could be shoved there into the corner. Oh, my! Oh, oh. you know, Ian is going straight for Bert. Not the best idea. He uh, tried to pull a D'Ambrosio there, <laughs> but got a little too aggressive. You see, the, the trick is you've got to make it look like you're not doing a D'Ambrosio while you're doing a D'Ambrosio. You can't just go face first into Burt. Kyle, with 45 seconds left, what is the D'Ambrosio? If this is your first time here, this is the first time watching the live stream, they may not be familiar with this. So a Named after Anthony D'Ambrosio. Exactly. We noticed Anthony was using a strategy where if he would get his opponent pinned up against the wall, he would intentionally put his bot between himself and between himself and Bert so that Bert could not get in to shake the opponent loose before a countout happened. It worked out very successfully for him in the past, and it's a really <laughs> great use of the Norwalk Havoc rules. Wow, 15 seconds left. Ian, you're doing great. 10. Oh! Oh my! <laughs> Bert just says, oh yeah, you think, huh? 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's Hi. the match. It is Drive to the door. Very rare to see Bert get so actively involved in a match. He's very docile normally. Normally, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, he, he helps when he can, but uh, yeah, that was uh, aggressive. All right, so with the wheel gone uh, from Sea Dragon's Roar, is this uh, maybe just hands, or do we want to talk about it? I think that this is going to be a hands vote. Hands? Okay. Hands, yeah. hands for fully defined? Fully defined. All right, we've got two hands and a thumb. All right, that's good enough. Fully defined, unanimous judges' decision, which advances in the winner's bracket. Yeah, Thank you very so much, nice. judges. Now, I just wanted to point out that uh, the bane of Chris's existence just got